that must that will bring financial returns in life you need a capital to start if you are starting a business you need a capital no matter your expertise no matter how talented and learned you are concerning a trade so long you are going to run to start a business the background need that you have is a capital for the business no matter the ideas you have they could not they cannot translate to anything unless you have a capital success in life the capital you need is life to achieve anything you need life as capital so long you have life then anything is achievable the bible says in ecclesiastes 9 and verse 4 he said to him that is joined to the living there is hope for a living dog is better than a dead lion the bible says in psalm 118 verse 17 i shall not die but i shall live to declare the works of the lord when satan met with god and they were discussing about job when they were having a, an argument concerning job satan looked at god and said in job 2 verse 4 skin for skin all that a man has he will give in exchange for his life skin in other words what a man needs to thrive in life is skin skin for skin life is what a man needs that is what a man needs in the system a particular verse of scripture uh, which is very paramount john 3 16 17 18 19 for god so loved the world that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have what but have what verse 17 said god did not send his son to this world to condemn the world but that through him the world might be it seems he that believeth not on the son is condemned already he said because he has not believed in the only begotten son of god and 19 said this is the condemnation that light came into this world and men love darkness because their deeds we are evil life is the capital you need the place where we read jephthah was in the fix and he said when i looked around my life i looked around my situation i looked to my father's side i looked to my mother's side i look around people who were with me i saw that nobody was ready to help me so i carried my life and i took my life in my hand listen to me child of god you are not a failure unless you still have who you are blaming your life Jephthah said I carried my life and I put it in my hand I put some conditions in place and I tell myself if I fail I fail I succeed I succeed nobody will take credit for my rising nobody will take glory for my emergence I'm taking my life in my hands I like this to register in your system so you become responsible the height of irresponsibility is constantly depending on others for survival. That is the height, the peak, the zen is the apex of irresponsibility. Matured irresponsibility. <laughs> People only identify with implemented decisions. People only identify with implemented not ideas in the head as soon as he took his life in his hand and became something others came to identify with him people only people only identify with implemented decision implemented decision whatever you are in life today is a function of your reaction your inaction or your action there are people that don't take decisions. They say, I'm just there. How many of you know that indecision is a decision? Indecision. Indecision. It means you have decided not to decide. Indecision. They are just there. You do nothing about your life. Just sitting down. You have decided not to decide. And we began to run through and see what were the steps that Jephthah took. What were the steps that Jephthah put in place? What were the steps that Jephthah operated on? Nobody is totally useless. Nobody. First Corinthians 7 verse 7 says, Every man has a proper gift. Your gift is not improper. Every man has a proper gift of God. Jesus did not put his life on people. John 13, 15 said, Jesus said, as I have done, so do ye. This is your example. First Peter 
Mark 2 21 he said Christ is our example Luke chapter 6 verse 40 he said a disciple is not greater than his master everyone that wants to be like his master must be perfect as his master everyone that wants to be great must be perfect like his master no disciple is greater than his master so he said I've done this thing to prove as your example I did not put my life in people's hands so we must follow suit do you know the brothers of Jesus they mocked him John chapter 7, if you read from verse 3, 4 down, the Bible said, they said to Jesus, all these mighty works, John chapter 7 verse 3, his brethren said to him, depart hence and go into Judea, that the disciples may also see the work that thou doest. Verse 4. They said, for no man that doeth anything in secret and himself seeketh to be known openly, if thou do these things, show thyself to the world. His brothers were telling him, if you are that powerful, go outside. Stop disturbing.